about um, Totally Wicked, mm. Joy Tech, yes. E Leaf. What's coming up? Uh, what's coming up? Uh, we will be launching a new site called uh, eleafworld.co.uk at the end of this month, which will be a place for customers to buy eLeaf branded products. Okay. Uh, that allows them to buy products which are immediately available. We don't have to go through the rebranding process that we go through for most of our products. Uh, it allows me to commit back to the, the Joytech eLeaf leadership, the commitments that we've been working with for the past six years, which is to um, expose their brands as much as we're exposing our brands and to work in a much more deeper partnered way. So it's part of a, uh, an, an emboldening and increasing of that strategic relationship that uh, we're very privileged to have as a company, something that I hold very dear. It's a personal relationship with the leadership of the company as well as a, a professional commercial relationship. So it's part of that really. Um, and it's also in recognition that uh, come what may, in 2016 and beyond, there will be a need for the industry to have uh, much more authoritative control over how products are imported and distributed, to take more collective third-party liability through the distribution network for the goods and wares. And this is part of our strategic stepping stone into making our business much more resilient and able to take those responsibilities on board, mm -hmm. take that third-party liability, distribute products with a level of support. Uh, which is naturalised in the UK with real-time support, with products available in our warehouse that can be shipped within 24 hours. We take responsibility for duty, importation control, certification, etc. And that leads us into the other venture that we're creating, which is a company called UK Vapor Brands, uh, which allows us to then sell non-branded TW goods, e-leaf, joy tech, tech, the Odyssey range, into all those stores, independent stores who would like to stock those goods and be able to buy them directly from a UK supplier uh, and also for, to allow us to provide what we hope is much more value adding support when it comes to marketing those goods and their stores, uh, technical support, customer service support and liberating them from the, the, the shackles of having to uh, work with Chinese distributors, the challenges when it comes to lead time, the risk involved, the cash outflow, cash management. Um, so I think it's, it's a, in round terms, I suppose, the ability for us to be able to uh, supply a greater part of the marketplace in, uh, with goods that they're seeking to, to offer. And is there, how much feedback is there from, uh, from the UK in terms of product design and, and uh, capabilities and that kind of the thing? The we feed back into our supply base? In, into, yes, in, in, into Joytech and, and Ely. Well, I think quite a bit, actually. We, uh, we, we aren't blithely simply accepting their goods, rebranding, and then churning them out as TWs. It's a much more deeper relationship to that. Yeah. They're, they're, they're part of our team who, who supports us in developing some of our exclusive goods. So the Go cigarette was designed by us and was made by Joytech for us. Uh, our uh, e-cigar was designed by us and made by Joytech for us. The RCS atomizer for the Odyssey uh, was designed by us, patented by us, UK patent owned by us, made by Joytech. So we do a lot of design work ourselves, which they then manufacture. They also provide goods for us, which we then manufacture in, in the UK. So for example, the, the electronics that we use is, is designed, co-designed, but actually manufactured in China and brought to the UK to be assembled into the Odyssey. The only part of the Odyssey that's not made in the UK is the design chip for the Odyssey VV. Mm. Um, so there's a lot of engaged relationship when it comes to design and manufacture. Um, and also there's a lot of work done on compliance and regulation. Recently we had all our flavours and our fluids tested by Dr. Fosselinos when there was a scare with yes. VIP, et cetera, and, and yeah. diacetol. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm happy and content that our products work as we test them, but I wanted a third party uh, supporting the definition. I wanted that to be tested by Dr. Farsalinos, so so we could third party arbitrate and confirm to our customers that indeed what we tell them is correct. Yeah. And we worked with Joytech for our Titan fluids to, to make sure that they were tested, and any feedback there was, which is all very positive, was uh, uh, engaged and responded to. Um, so there's a, there's a really strong relationship. It's not just a relationship that um, allows us to buy products and sell. Uh, they've given over to us something they've given to nobody else. They've not allowed an independent third party company to have a distribution agreement nationally for Joytech and Eleaf. There are no IHS in uh, 2014 where obviously they built the Eleaf business um, and there's a lot of new products and lots of innovation um, and you could argue that some of the Joytech products became a bit stale. I think they've recrystallised it into the kind of company it was 
in 2010 to 2012 with some really, really strong innovation, some rapid mm -hmm. transformation of those prototypes into really wonderful products such as, well, yes. such as these. I mean, they're, they're a great credit to them. I, uh, I have to say I'm, I'm really quite liking the Eagle one. Mm. I mean, it tends to go everywhere with me. The e -grip, I've left the e -grip at home. For the first time in a long time I've left the e -grip at home, but that's only because I've got the e one. <laughs>